Today we're going to see some examples of Blender being used in production pipelines for game development, VFX for film production, animation and more. Number 1. Game Development When it comes to game development, Blender is heavily used for indie game development studios. First of all, it is free which is great for a small budget. Also, it is open source which allows studios to create new tools if needed. And of course, it is a complete 3D package that can do everything smoothly. Blender for the most part is not really a part of the software that game developers use for AAA video games in big game development studios for now, but this might change in the future. Here are some examples of Blender being used in cool video games. Biomutant is the first game of the Swedish development studio Experiment 101 that uses Blender which was established in the summer of 2015 by former Avalanche Studio employees. After working on the Just Cause series for many years, the founders of the studio wanted to go back to the basics of video game development to create a game that is fun in a good way. The little hero character was modeled in ZBrush and Blender, grooming of the fur was done in Blender as well. Several environments were done in Blender for the cinematic trailer of Raid World War II video game. They started the layout process using Grease Pencil. The Grease Pencil sketches were later linked into each environment artist scene so they had a good reference when building it. The environment artist did also link each other scene so they could see each other's work update. And this made it easy to tie the separate rooms together. In Mass Effect, the Andromeda initiative, the moon environment was made in Blender. Being able to sculpt the ground at the same time as scattering out rocks made it easy to iterate the shot and see how everything looked in the camera. By importing the character animation with Alembic from Maya to Blender, the environment artist could make sure that nothing intersected the character's feet while they were walking. This also enabled them to create the environment simultaneously as they were animating the shots. Number 2. Visual Effects in visual effects and film, Blender is used by a lot of freelance artists and independent artists to do gigs for VFX studios. For now, there are very few VFX studios using Blender as one of their main tools in their pipeline, which is a nice progress that took place in recent years. Barnstorm VFX did an outstanding work on the TV series The Man in the High Castle, and they have been using Blender as an integral part of their pipeline. They have experimented with a variety of programs over the years, but for 3D work, they settled on using Blender for a few years. It is very unusual for VFX houses to use Blender, but there are a number of features that caused them to switch over to it. One of them was Cycles Render Engine that they have used for their rendering of most of the 3D elements in High Castle and other shows. In order to deal with the huge rendering needs of High Castle, they set up cloud rendering using Amazon's own AWS servers, which allowed them to have as many as 150 machines working at the same time to render some of the big sequences. In addition to Blender, they occasionally use other 3D programs, including Houdini for particle systems. Their texturing and material work is done in Substance Painter, and compositing is done in Nuke and After Effects. They use Blender for modeling, animation, and rendering. Also, they use Blender fluid systems and particle systems and render everything in cycles. They use cycles for exporting render layers, which they composite mostly in Nuke. Artist Joseph Canover is a 3D artist at Greenhouse GFX, worked at Wonder Woman's in title sequence, and many other random things using Blender. Wonder Woman's director thought that many scenes in the sequence were too warlike and wanted some uplifting moments, so he projected this view of the home of Wonder Woman and the Amazons based on a painted version. Also, he worked on other 3D models that were used in other various scenes using Blender. Wonder Woman was based on the actress Gal Gadot, sculpted in ZBrush and refined in Blender. For the plane, he took inspiration from the World War II German biplane. He also worked on the sword structure, in which he used arrays and curve modifiers to create a rotating structure effect. Number 3. Animation the animation studio of Blender Institute produced 12 short films so far. The last one is Spring, which is the story of a shepherd girl and her dog, who faced ancient spirits in order to continue the cycle of life. This poetic and visually stunning short film was completely created using development version of Blender 2.8 for the entire production, even before the software was officially beta. Blender Institute is currently developing its first animated feature film, based on the celebrated Dutch comic character Agent 327. 
On May 15, 2017, Blunder Foundation released a teaser trailer that was almost four minutes long for an upcoming computer animated feature film based on the comic. It stars Agent 327 as he investigates a barber shop and he learns a dangerous truth about the shop. The three minute film was released online as a proof of concept to attract funding for the feature length adaptation. Goodbye Kansas Studio is a VFX studio that creates award winning visual effects, digital animations, and motion capture for movies, game trailers, and commercials. At Goodbye Kansas Studios, artists used several 3D packages like Houdini, ZBrush, and Maya. And there were also some artists using Blender as well. They use Blender for hard surface and props and environment work. They also use it in parts of their environment workflow for scattering objects. The studio noticed that Blender artists are producing more models faster and because of that Blender is becoming more and more popular in their modeling department at the Stockholm office. Goodbye Kansas say that Blender fits nicely in their pipeline because of the modeling tools it has. They also use it for hair grooming which is exported later to other programs to be used for procedural hair setups. They created a short film called Adam in which characters were modeled in Blender and ZBrush. The low poly version of the character was entirely done in Blender. Also one of the reasons they say that Blender has a mix between procedural tools, standard box modeling and sculpting. In the Walking Dead Season 8 retopology Goodbye Kansas did UV mapping of the human actor scans in ZBrush and Blender. Grooming of hairstyles were also done in Blender. It's now common for 3D CG to be used in many anime films. 3D CG and hand drawing make a great combination that improves productivity and quality of anime. Kara and Anime CG production company Project Studio Q are preparing to switch their primary 3D CG tools to Blender. Blender will be used for some parts of the Evangelon 3 they are currently working on. Kara has been using Autodesk 3ds Max as their primary tool so far. Evangelon 3 production is mainly done with 3ds Max. They are now starting to switch from 3ds Max to Blender, usually the reason being due to differences such as quality and functionalities. But Kara's reason is different. Different tools are used depending on the studios and works in anime production. Productivity decreases unless they use the same tools and assets. Due to this, they tend to work with companies that use the same tools. 3ds Max is an excellent tool and one of the industry standards, but in some cases, it causes a lack of artists due to its high cost. Blender is an open source software and available for free. Also, it has most of the same functionalities with other software. So it was undoubtedly attractive and there was a key functionality that brought Kara to Blender as a production studio, which was a grease pencil. You can draw lines in 3D space directly with a pen and not only by making 3D models, but you can also draw extra details in the animations themselves. Onyrixel 3D Animation Studio is a small startup based in Toulouse, France. 3D animation is the most suitable way to explain technical principles and to give clear picture of the situation in space. The European Space Agency entrusted the creation of a 3D animation movie about space debris to Onyrixel 3D Studio, specializing in the production of 3D CGI animation films and they used Blender to create the whole short film about space debris for the European Space Agency. Number 4 VR and AR. Blender has seen a good progress in recent years which allowed some small studios to use it for their work. Blend FX is a small studio for 3D, VR, AR, and VFX based in Germany. They produce virtual and augmented reality applications, architectural visualization, 3D constructions, and animations and visual effects for TV and cinema, with a focus on high quality content for mobile VR. They started working with virtual reality in 2014, then they began focusing on pre-rendered content using stereoscopic panoramas. They developed a workflow with Blender and Unity, where they integrated interactive elements and 3D animations into stereoscopic panoramas. Rockledge VR is a virtual reality app Blender FX created. It's a virtual reconstruction of one of the chambers from an old castle in Germany. They used Blender for the entire process of modeling, texturing, and rendering. Number 5. Architectural Visualization There are a lot of architectural visualization artists around the world using Blender for their freelance and contract work. Also, there are some small ArcViz studios that use it to do their work for their clients. 
E-Interiors is a Brazilian interior design e-commerce startup that uses Blender for their interior design work. They developed a new platform based on a semi-vanilla Blender, Fluid Designer and their own pipelines. During its initial years, E-Interiors focused on delivering top-notch projects with state-of-art 3D rendering. Back then, this would involve a pantheon of software, namely AutoCAD, SketchUp, V-Ray, and Photoshop. They are using Blender, but they needed some changes to take place in order for them to extract the most out of it. And since Blender is open source, that was possible. The development started by cleaning up Blender interface completely. They wanted the user to be unaware of the software being used underneath. They took few hints from Fluid Designer but they focused on making the interface tied to the specifics of e-interiors working steps. They have tools to create and change elements of the space like walls, floors, the render point of view, the dynamic element of the project, and the library. Besides that, there are a whole different set of tools dedicated to create the final board, add annotations and measurements. Number 6. Advertisement Blender is also used to create commercial and promotional ads for television. Artist Joseph Canover is a 3D artist at Greenhouse GFX worked on a promotional ad for the 2017 NHL All-Star Weekend. This was a good example of Blender's versatility. For two shots he had to hand model the scene to match the Cinerama Dome and the Hollywood sign. Blender allowed him to quickly draft out his ideas from animation to the final lighting before he exported that to Maya and rendered in V-Ray. I hope this video was useful and showed you some examples of where Blender is used in the industry. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below and you can tell me also where Blender is used in other productions. Also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.